What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii Friday content creator, host a podcast across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to the world's finest assassin. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you like to support the channel, we got Patreon, channel membership, and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to the world's finest assassin episode. Five, yo! Last episode, Luke, Luke, however you want to say his name. I'm really bad at saying names, like, which is really bad because I hate it when people mispronounce my name. But, anyways, we went off topic. He acquired a party member. It's weird I said party member. Huh. He acquired uh, a f another person who can use mana that was led there by the goddess. Yes. <laughs> Uh, and um, he trained her. She's really good with um a spear. And in this episode, it looks like he's going to be put through a test from his father. So let's watch this now. Thirty-five years earlier. Okay, we have another older person who died the world's finest samurai he like just brings in the world's finest warriors huh every type of class the assassin soldier samurai but she brought in every class and we're gonna see all of them She's been trying to get this hero killed. Wow. Number 362. You look like you might be the hero. Is he just trying to fight anyone? Yo, this goddess has been trying. We could say that she has perseverance in trying to defeat this hero. Personally, I think she's, she is damage controlling. That's my opinion. Oh, he introduced fertilizer. You can tell he's using the knowledge that he has from the previous life to make his territory bountiful. Yo, he is like the perfect lord. So reliable, so helpful, like best boss of a company yep you're as popular as ever and that is done strategically say bad stuff about a good lord mm-hmm he literally looks like he just went grocery shopping Girl, that's not enough. He has to put up an image. And he needs to manipulate their hearts just like he manipulated you. <laughs> that's so bad. Secretly, she's thinking that if she was born here, she wouldn't be his servant and have this consistent one-on-one -on -one time with him. She's probably thinking, he didn't take her in like he did. She wouldn't be able to manipulate all this time. 
to manipulate? Hmm. He's greedy for his time. Oh, he is storing mana. How much do you have, boy? I'm using like grenades, bro. Ooh. What's Daddy Assassin gonna say? Reach the level of the branch families. What's the level of the branch families? What are the branch families like? Well, huh? Ah, yeah, techniques. No, <laughs> he's like, I'm glad we didn't have to kill her. It is the will of the goddess. Yep, the goddess set it up, yo. America produced by the goddess. A test. Be test. Recognized as a full member of the family and let... You handle jobs as an assassin. This is to fight, Daddy Assassin. Show me what you're capable of. Now the question is: Is he supposed to defeat him, or is this fight just to assess his skills? Because, you know, Dad, he's supposed to be the best of the best, right? I mean, he did train Wu, but no. Our protagonist is the world's finest assassin. Look at that, he already analyzed weapon, whatnot. Yo, his dad looks so young without the mustache showing. Oh! Yes, he's a monster. He's a good assassin, yo. I like how he's not that OP. This shows that he will encounter some challenges. I hope he does meet more people like his dad. Oh, a trap. I get the impression that assassin characters in other stories, they're I don't want to say underrated or underappreciated, but overlooked. They're overlooked. I like how in this story, it's really showcasing the skills, the thoughts of an assassin. Mm-hmm. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Dad deceives you using faints. And your dad sees through your faints. I think it's both experience and that your dad really knows you. He's been monitoring your body, your training since young. Probably his whole life. So the dad does have a disadvantage. I mean, advantage on that. Oh, he's already thinking ahead of his dad, thinking about his weaknesses. Dang, yo. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's coo, 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 coo. How does he know he was holding back to the finest assassin in the Tuahade? Both a training exercise and a test. Very interesting how the sunset is being reflected in their eyes like their eyelashes they're kind of reddish orange or eyelids see that huh very detailed Time for him to go explore the world, gain experience. And what is this scene? Is this a scene of a corrupted noble? Oh, they're wearing the, the shackles. That we saw in the first episode. You remember? You're like, one corrupted noble down. Many more to go. Oh, did they just feed him poison? You're like a super long needle? Look at the different ways you're assassinating people. I like this. I like how they're showing these different methods. Oh, they're trying to make it look like it's bad to go into cahoots with other bandits. Give the doctor his reward. They're probably monitoring your body so they know what to give you to make you die like it was a natural death. What did you notice? More guards, defense has been strengthened. Oh, he's the next target. 
Mm-hmm. Is your son. Conceal identities and approach from the front. Join in disguise. Aliases. I'm a merchant. Oh, he arranged for a fictional person to be born at the same time as him. Yo, the dad fought way ahead. He's like, I made you an alias since you were born. No, he didn't do that, but he made something like that. <laughs> Until you turn 14, you're trained to become a merchant as Balor's son. Yo, all of these people are probably twice a day. They're all like assassins and stuff. That's nuts. Wait, are they? Who's that kid in the back? He looks like he'll be like a... ...punk later on. Whoa! You drunk. Oh dear. This kid has like an inferiority complex. Oh, isn't that their child that died? Okay, this is, uh, they all are within family trade. Fight immediately! Up, oh, he dead. It was not a dirty trick. We're not like knights. Mm hmm. Even when you tried to fake him, he still beat you. I broke it cleanly. He can act boldly. Oh, these lines. I wonder if he's going to be able to use the family later on. Oh, he's taking this very well. He's not being petty. Yes, that room is true. Mm hmm
become my subordinate. Yes, take him in. There are only four knights stronger than him. I want you, Rona. Oh, that's like the dagger he gave to Dia. I wonder if that's going to be his trademark. So we're going to have a knight and we're going to have an assassin. And with Dia, she's a magic user, even though Lu can use magic. Mm, what's Tarte? What class would she be? Pierce? Striker? Huh. Gosh, the animation in the background is so good. Okay, I really like the details they put in this anime. It's so good. Like with the vest and that banquet. And even when they're in the market in the beginning of the episode, oh, this anime is so good not just because of the story and how pretty it looks but just like the quality the quality looks so good oh my goodness oh if you differ in thoughts let me know in the comments and explain why i don't like when people just spew out facts i like explanations i'm like and and i need more details you can't just tell me like it's a fact because it's not really a fact unless you got stuff to support it you know but <laughs> Anyways, I am really excited to see Luke's test when he's in that other place, when he's, you know, being the son of a merchant. I'm really excited to see him meet his other party members. I don't know why I keep calling them party members, but yeah, party members acquire more teammates, you know, people, subordinates. There you go, subordinates like his cousin. That's his cousin, right? Like his cousin. His cousin that's going to be at night. And he brought him as a it, and he gave him a gift of that weapon made out of the material that he customized himself. Mm -hmm. One of a kind material, only uh, Dia had that dagger. And I'm pretty sure Tarte has like a spear version. And um, now we have the sword. Julio's, yes. Besides what I think and such, what did you think about this episode and what did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things you're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to podcasts is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that... My name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel reacting to the world's finest assassin episode 5. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Laters!